obviously not the result we were hoping for. It was uh, it's, it's a tough game after Christmas. Team being away, no excuses. They have the same thing, I would imagine. Um, coming into this this game, uh, just not the response you would hope for. Just off the you know what happened last week, but. Um, you know, we had foul issues in the first half. Uh, we had uh, just, just again, we're, we're digging a hole for ourselves at the offensive end of the floor, to putting way too much pressure on our defense. We're just not, not converting. Um, and then it didn't, it didn't get that much better in the second half. I mean, it got marginally better. You know, I thought we battled hard just to like try and gut out stops. But you know, they had guys, DeRozier's and. Um, and much, you know, both double figure, high rebound games, way above their their normal averages, and that's what you need to, you know, to I guess win, uh, you know, on the road. And you know, we didn't get that same production. Um, you know, we just we need more guys playing well on offense. And, and Romello did some nice things in the first half with rebounding and, um, and, and and some of those putbacks. And and then Remy had some 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 good shots and. You know, Rob had a, had a good you know, couple minutes stretch on offense, but otherwise it was it was just hard to really figure out where where we could be effective at that end of the floor. Something you can put your finger on when it comes to the offensive struggles the last couple of games? Not necessarily. I mean, we missed. I, I think uh, how the game ended epitomizes kind of you know you just missing layups. You know, in and out layups. I mean, probably like three or four of those in the last like two minutes alone. But, Things just didn't go our way, and um, you know, we were two for 15 from three, so so that's not going to get it done either. And, um, we did shoot free throws pretty well. If, if you're uh, you know, if you're looking for you know the silver lining in this game somehow, missed the wake up call, kind of that you can't just go out there. And not I mean, there's a lot. Game. There's a lot of parity in college basketball, and, and there's if you're not if, if you're not ready, uh, and, I, and I didn't think uh, I did a very good job of getting. The team ready for the level of the game was going to be. How hard they played in the first half, they played harder than we did. There were a couple of offensive rebound examples that I remember that we had three white jerseys in the paint, and they had one, and somehow they got the offensive rebound. And we've uh, we normally don't allow that to happen. So there were, you know, we got to I got to do a better job, and I always struggle in games like this, knowing the difficulty of. Uh, you getting your team ready, especially after the, the emotion of uh, the game the other night. The last possession, were you pleased with how it came out? What's your, your last look? I mean, I thought we had multiple cracks at it. Um, and, you know, at that point, I wanted Rob to, to shoot a three or, or to, to have the ball in his hands for some type of shot because he had made a couple in the, in the second half. My only other option would have been maybe Remy at that point just based on how the game was going. Um, but then, you know, we scrambled and, and had a couple more opportunities and just, you know, the ball didn't go in. What have you seen of him a little bit of the this shot just makes it easy. Some of it's layups, you know, he's in the paint and, and, and uh, you know, he's not converting. He had, I thought he had a pretty good look on the left wing for three, didn't go. Um, he's a freshman and he's been so good early and, you know, I know that He'll continue to find his uh, find his best game here as we get the league play. You guys have been down at the half the last four games. Are there similarities to the different slow starts you've had recently? I think it just goes to if you look at every field goal percentage. You know, you're going to see 27 in Kansas. I think we're 28 today. And, you know, so when you don't make shots like that, it's you know, our defense held them to 37. So you know, usually that's that's pretty decent. And, and then if you you get a little more, you get a little something going on offense where you're making more shots. You're gonna, you're just gonna try a little harder on defense. You just keep going to the well and missing. It kind of chips away at, at your maybe desire to keep competing. But through all that, we did, you know, we held them to 67. I guess 67, 66. So normally, if, if we keep a team in the 60s, I would think that we're in, in really good shape. Obviously, some coaches they want to turn the page. Some coaches want it to stay. Conference starting next week. How do you want this one to go? There's no positives to this at all, really, that I can think of at the moment. Um, uh, just the, the kind of non-conference that we had and the level of wins that we've had.
this is uh, this is a step back. So, you know, we. But if we're going to play like this, then you know, a resume doesn't really mean a whole lot. You know, like you gotta you, you gotta be ready to take care of business and uh, and play at a higher level if if you want to if, if you want to compete. You can't. You, know, you can't be one team against the number one team in the country and then and then play this way. And I don't want to take anything away from Princeton. Those kids fought hard. They, they, they the kid Kennedy could play anywhere, and, and he's uh, he's going to play. You know, after this year, and um, you know, I thought they had a good plan how they had it guarded us, and um, they made some some incredible shots late in the game. Uh, well, I think one off the behind the back was was pretty uh, pretty tough to take. Uh, at that moment, so uh, yeah. Your guards are your point guards can find their own shot. They can create their own shot. What what's the the fine line of looking for your shot as opposed to getting others involved? Yeah, I mean that's it's a good question, and it's um, you know we were struggling to find offense, and, and and they were really you know packing the paint pretty well. So I I think I would have loved to try and throw the ball to Zion a little more, so he could. You know, have more chances. Um, we weren't getting maybe what we normally would get by doing that. You know, like when the, when he has the basketball, he's usually very good at, at moving, moving the ball around, as good as we have on the team. When your team only makes two threes all night, is it a case that they just came out cold, or was the defense extended? Or I mean, I'd have to look at the whole thing overall. I, I thought that there were open ones that, that we didn't cash in on, and and then uh, I, I thought that that was. I thought it was more of the shots in the lane that we didn't make that, that hurt us more than even the line. And that, you know, two for 15 is not a good number at all. But I, I just thought maybe not converting uh, layups on drives or or putbacks would probably have more impact on on the outcome. So as you as you head into Pac-12, what are your what are your thoughts? What are you, what are you thinking? About? Just a reminder that no matter how good you feel or or, or, or how great things are going, you know, you. Uh, it could all it could all go away real fast if, if you're not careful and you're not you're not ready and you're not focusing on getting better. And you know, I thought our practices were, were good coming into this game. I had a good feeling, but it just it didn't come together today. Okay, it's good. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.